Hi everybody, this is Bobo the Vulture, and this is Let's Play Gran Turismo 2. Um, as I look down uh, at the table in front of me and see uh, Montgomery County safe speed. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> look at a uh, photo. Um, yeah, I got caught on a photo uh, speed violation. They have uh, speed cameras they set up in various places in and around this metropolitan area. Um, and I don't usually drive in an area where there are a lot of them. Um, but uh, there's one particular, one particular stretch, I guess, where I do now. Uh, I have to be aware. So that's great, right? Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, last time we uh, bought a car and tuned it up, shined it up real nice and uh, won the car challenge with it and won the low horsepower American championship with it and now we're going to race modify it ah my retina the burn Oh, I see. There was a racing car in the, uh... It's a racing car. You know what? Just because it's, uh... Slightly unusual, I'm gonna go with the... The white with the green Ford logo. You would... You would think they would just do a blue one. But no, we're gonna do a green one here. Because why not? Because the color of the Ford emblem is always blue? Yeah, that would probably be why, but I'm not following your rules, man. Oh yeah, you can see it's got racing modifications on it. Now, now I see it much clearer. Hmm, yes, well. It's okay, folks. We'll manage. Hey, it's a, another run of the midfield raceway. I'm gonna guess that, uh, I have set this fifth gear too high, or too short, for midfield raceway, because it was working pretty well for Laguna Seca, but I'm not going to adjust it down anyway, because I can't be sure until it's actually been tested in the field, and I don't feel like doing a test run. I'm gonna beat all you guys with my explosive acceleration. This car is pretty explosive. This thing is exploding with power. Alright, I guess I finally did get to the rev limiter there a little bit. I can't trust the fact that I took that as a second gear turn last time I was here. Because uh, you will remember the uh, other car challenge we also did at Midfield Raceway. Previous video. But the car had different gearing then and it wasn't race modified. It's a whole new ball game here, folks. Actually, I think with the, without the, uh, the body colored bumpers and fenders, the car looks kind of weird in the back. I think it actually really benefits from uh, the uh, matte sort of gray-black um, body cladding on the side of it, changing it to regular body color. Um, now the taillights just look like weird alien eyes, and I totally messed that up. It's not to say alien eyes as taillights isn't a cool idea. Um, but it sort of fit into the shape of the um, 
other sort of black-gray panels. And now they're just sort of sitting out there floating on their own. Let's go back and look at the previous videos with the uh, non-race modified car and maybe you'll understand what I'm talking about. Maybe you won't though. I'm not your boss. I'm not the boss of you now. I'm not the boss of you now. I'm not the boss of you now and I'm not so big. That's not what she's... Oh, okay, yeah, that's... Uh, Let's keep things moving here in a classy direction, like towards the finish line. There we go. I'm well pleased with that car. suppose in a perfect world, I might wind the uh, top gear out just one more tick, which I could do easily, but uh, chances are just as good I'll never actually end up driving that car again. <laughs> now that I've won the big five grand. All right, let's continue. And I believe the we already have a Neon that we could use for that middle tier in the American Championship. And then we'll have won another championship, folks. As you can see, the championships don't seem to mean that much. They do something for our completion percentage, I guess. Let's check that. We haven't looked at that in a while. I'm almost halfway through! Wow, considering all the little tiny one-make cups and little bits and pieces and... The fact that I haven't, just plain old, haven't gotten around to any of the Enduros. Wow. I'm actually, uh, that's... Oh, my, uh, win ranking has, uh, moved up a way bunch. Um. And the total value of the cars I own is 20,776,485 credits. Because it's the future and we use credits. All right, we got a racing neon right here. 283 horsepower. That's good. Let's send it out to the track. Gran Turismo League styles. And then we'll be done with Laguna Seca for a while. Though if I remember correctly, there is an enduro at Laguna Seca. But maybe I don't remember correctly. Wouldn't be the first time. Probably won't be the last time. Unless I die spontaneously. Like, very soon. I'm not hoping for that. I hope you're not hoping for that either. Oh, Dodge Stratus. I forgot those things even existed for a while. Oh, that's Ford Mondeo. That's yeah, true. With the, the with the Ford cars in particular, um, they some of the cars they got were um, like crazy. Uh, Some of the cars they got were, I say crazy, but they were just European models. Um, the Mondeo they did sell in the United States, that version of the Mondeo they did sell in the United States as the Ford Contour, um, and as the Mercury Mystique. Uh, they sold a Mercury version of it. Um, I knew somebody had one. Um, not a bad little car. Got the guy through uh, a... a awful, like, a year and a half or so of, uh, like, 90-minute commutes. Um, didn't give him too much grief. So, something to be said for it there. Eight up miles like champion. That was not the way I meant to uh, hit that. Uh, well, I didn't mean to hit it at all, so that would be part of the problem. Didn't mean to hit the wall there. Mm 
And yeah, I went completely off track, but uh, given the uh, grip conditions of the sand right around here, it doesn't really seem to matter. It matters in the sense that what kind of moron is going to be racing around here, not even staying on the track. Precisely this kind of moron, apparently. I suppose I should feel guilty for driving my race modified neon here. But I suppose I could have taken the PT Spider. Maybe I should have, but uh, just for some reason I got the neon stuck in my head. There you go. If you get uh, your braking done enough ahead of time, you can well and truly make it through uh, the Corkscrew Laguna Sega in a tidy fashion. Alright, we did it this time. This time, we didn't screw up. The greatest goal any of us ever have. And they're all like, he's cheating, he's got a race car. It's not my fault I got a race car and you don't. It's not my fault you don't have Fonzie. It's possible more than one person knows what I'm talking about, but, you know. I wouldn't say it's likely. But okay, so we finished that. I'm just racking up the kills now. Bam! 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 What other nationalities do we have to look at here? I have the French Nationals. 246 and 295. Well, I've got some French cars. I wonder if any of them could fit into those rankings. Actually, I should only have... I have this Lupo. Oh wait, that's Lupo. I was thinking of the uh, Clio. Although that's pretty dreary looking too. It's not my super fun, super cool, um... I got this French car, that's a pretty nice French car. It's not this guy who has too much horsepower to participate in any of these races. The only other French car I have is my 106, right? I did really enjoy driving this 106, though. I think I'm going to get it out there. See what it'll do. Hopefully you guys aren't really upset by the fact that I'm taking these cars that I've already race modified and taking them to these national event races. Because um, it's going to happen. Well, I mean, right now it is. I... I don't know. If they'd let me wipe off the racing paint and uh, just go out there as a regular car again, I'd be happy to. But uh, they don't really seem to have that uh, in mind with this event. I wonder if there are going to be any Venturis in either of these. Now, I recall really enjoying driving this Peugeot. in the uh, previous uh, video in which I took it out to the ball game and out to the crowds. It's pretty pleasant. There's Venturi advertising itself. 
Oh. Uh, they consider Tahiti like the Frenchiest of all of the locations in the game, I guess. And so that's why they've got uh, Venturi and Citroën and Michelin all advertising here. Michelin is, or Michelin, French tire company. Um, interestingly, all I mean, they're, they're a tire company, they make racing tires for various things. Um, but most notably, um, in uh, sports car racing, which is one of the uh, Roman and Elf fuels, and uh, oh, and Total, the French national. Yeah, they got all the French. I never noticed that before, but they got all these French firms up there. They're obviously not all French because Gran Turismo 2, as the concept of a game, is out there, and I think I saw Fiat signage thereabouts somewhere. Um, I think along these barriers on the left here. Maybe in a different part of the track. And Magnetti Marelli, I think, is an Italian firm, but I don't really know. Don't know that much about them other than to make, uh... I think they make transmission components, is that right? Um, but either way, folks, uh, we have, uh, put our way along here to victory. Whoa. That was a close shave. And there's Peugeot stuff over there. Yes, I am winning this rest for Peugeot. Take that, you Clears and Citrons. <coughs> so that was fun, guys. I like it. Although this does make me curious about something. Let's see here. 295 horsepower. I want to check something out. Just, just... Just, um... Humor me here. That's got too much. I have to try it some other time. It doesn't seem to, it, there. There are certain categories that obviously it's trying to encourage you to use one type of car or another, but it doesn't seem like there are always rules in place. Mid-engine, like the the drivetrain types, it'll remember those, and the horsepower limits, it'll remember those. But obviously, I've been able to I've been able to enter like the station wagon challenge with something that was really a five door hatchback. I don't know if technically it account. And, uh, things like that. I don't know if they, like, specifically make note of the nationalities of cars. Ah, oh, we're moving up to slightly bigger guns here. I can see that they have, uh, sporty Peugeot coupes. And they also have, uh, one of the, um, Clio Sports up there. Mistress Clio, let me read your fortune. Now, I was underpowered in the previous event, but my car was so light and lively it hardly mattered. Let's see if that remains to be the case here. Ah, I suppose it helps if I have total disregard for human life as well. Just glide along here at a rapid clip. You just sail through the corners. It's nice. Except this one. You gotta slow down a little bit here. But so do they. Don't worry. Checkpoint. 
you would think it would say like Pointe de Chic or something like that. It's all French, you see. A little dab on the brakes. We're in great shape. This is, I'll admit, in a little relatively cheap and cheerful car, this Tahiti Road course is way super fun. It's just Tops, it's just great, man. All right, I was carrying too much momentum in there. Didn't break early enough. Got that corner a little wrong, but I had a I had a real nice run going there. Of some nicely executed turns, and I got enough going on that it's basically just me and this one other car that's doing really well. I'm gonna guess it's the Clio Sport, but I can't really tell. It is the Clio Sport. Yeah. That makes sense. Hey, it's the Renault alter ego of um, the guy from Final Fantasy VIII. Spoilers, I guess. I can't remember if that was a spoiler. And I, I don't know enough about that game to give away Final Fantasy VIII spoilers. I'm sorry. Um, I know the name of the like final boss. And I clearly just gave away that I can't remember off the top of my head the name of the protagonist. So, I don't know that I can really say that I'm giving away that much. Um, but I tell you what, um, I guess I've made both the last video and this video, no, I mean, they're not super short, they're 20 minutes plus each. But in this video, I conquer both the United States and France. My risk board is getting really weird looking. <laughs> Come back next time, folks, and uh, I'll see whether or not I want to take over any more countries or go do some uh, go do some more little one make bitty bobbies here and there. I'm Bobo the Vulture. This is Let's Play Gran Turismo 2. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye now.